Well, <clears throat> I've had the weather forecast earlier as well as the new ranking and as I was expecting, uh, I fell into the ranking. It's not looking too good for me because the, the sales group is uh, is kind of picking up speed. So and I'm in a in a place with uh, with light wind and um, not much I can do. So it's not looking good, but I think tomorrow I'll be halfway through this crossing, and still a lot can happen. But I think it's going to be a tough few days now to get the boat going uh, until I find a bit more pressure. There's as well a little tropical wave that might affect us and affect maybe the group more south and me getting good wind when they will get less wind. We'll see this. Never good to hear the ranking. I mean, it's good and not good. Just keeping pushing and having lunch now in pretty nice surrounding. Camelas, Camelas over there. It's gonna be a squally night, so better watch out for those. It can be pretty bad. If I break that big spinnaker, it's gonna be a long way. So so far, it's only been a few little squalls. Um, there's a bigger one now approaching. Not really sure. There will be rain in it and much wind. We've already increased a few knots. Just on standby in case and nothing happens in it. I'll go back to sleep. Ah, there you go. Squalls have a life cycle of about um, three hours, so they develop quite fast. So you need to. Uh, watching quite regularly like I wake up every 15 minutes see if I'm not in the trajectory of one of them so yeah doing that I'm going back to 15 minutes now fun night huh a few moments later right so there was a squall indeed quite big uh, ended up dropping the the kite in like 20-25 knots but all good, no damage uh, I've set up everything already now just waiting for the squall to finish to pass there are only now 15 knots of wind I let the squall finish passing and then put the kite back up but yeah, the, I wasn't expecting so much rain so I'm now all wet but not that bad. It's the first big one. So it's good to have a bit of action. Uh, let's see what I say when I'll have 10 of these every day. But, uh, but for now, yeah, a little bit of action was fun. Alright, so after yesterday night squall, there's been little ones since then. But now there is another one developing behind me. Still unsure how windy it's gonna get, so I'm getting ready slowly in case it kicks in. It gives up really quickly. You see the, the camelas growing there. And uh, The squall is behind me, there's being a massive back of the wind, back of here, yeah, massive veer of the wind, and and I jived, and now I think the, the squall should go kind of this way, and I should be able to kind of ride it, that's my plan, and also I'm all naked, because you know, in case wind dies and there is lots of rain, I'll take a shower. That's, that's a strange outfit to uh, be having us at whew, 20 knots. All right, let's do this.
So I have just realized that it's day nine at sea, and that's why I'm breaking my record. It's uh, the first time I'm sailing, sailing single-handed uh, on like one crossing uh, for so long. The last one was uh, from Gibraltar to almost Madeira and to Canary Island. It was uh, eight days, and I had only sailed like kind of out the distance that I've sailed now but yeah nine days at sea starting to be a little bit of time it doesn't feel like I really feel we left three days ago so it's pretty nice still have plenty of food and water and another half ocean to cross so what to ask more for I don't ask more for this. these squalls. But this one should pass behind me, maybe. We'll see. And uh, we'll see. there was a big one here, massive one. But this one will cross behind me for sure. All right, day number 10, and we're almost halfway. I'm hopeful that the second half won't be as long as the first one, it's hardly possible. So I'm keeping 10 days worth of water. This means that I have some water left. This means laundry time and also uh, shower time. But I don't have thousands of liters to spare. So uh, basically to save water, you wash with salt water and you just rinse with clear water. It's a pretty easy way to save water. It's been 10 days, so it's time to take the trash out. This is 10 days worth of trash. Um, Basically, I try to get rid of as much trash as possible before leaving the dog. So all the boxes, you know, there is lots of overboxing in whatever we buy. So I try to, uh, to throw every, the maximum I can before. And also, you know, I'm just eating like two packs of freeze-dried food every day, plus, you know, some snacks. So it's not that much trash. And I'm going to put it into the crash box. So. It smells a little, doesn't matter too much. Good opportunity to go and check if everything is okay here. No water, trash sign or anything. I mean there hasn't been much more than 15 knots of wind, so good thing that there is no sign of fatigue. That's it. That's it, the halfway point. Halfway across the Atlantic. There is as much distance towards La Palma than towards Guadeloupe. Right in the middle of the pond. It's not a super fast ride, but it's a nice ride. There is a massive high pressure massive ridge over there so I don't think at least for the next three four days I'll get much more wind than this c'est la vie just keep going 
big cabalas over there. That's probably a squall coming in a while. Should probably pass here. Let's see. So tonight is another quite squally night and in order to uh, do a good squall watch I'm sleeping outside, I'm right in front of the companion way so I can just you know wake up every 15 minutes or so and see how the clouds are moving around me. I have also the two uh, tunnels next to me so I can assess the situation properly. I'd, I'd rather be outside here and have a, a good eye on the situation that below deck and you're not know, being worrying about when the squall is gonna hit and you know just by sleeping here if I see that the squall is gonna come I can take action beforehand and try to avoid it or I have like all my gears just below and I just grab them put them on and uh, be ready for the squall. Yeah, just like that. It's kind of comfortable. I can't complain. I can be like this and watch at the stars as well. Maybe no clouds. It'd be worse. Well, and also, before going to sleep, I always set up my alarm for 20 minutes or so. Put it here. And done. Alright, here we go, little morning squall. There's only three digits left on the ram line. Went from 1000 to 999. So that's something. And carrying on, carrying on. And just like 15, 16 not picked up. For the while I had not seen that. So let's make the most out, the, the most out of it. Just glide away with wet loop and a cold beer gonna be nice.